Right, so I thought I'd covered it all with Glastonbury cancelling screenings of the Jeremy Corbyn film. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn, The Big Lie. The film by Platform Films exposing the truth behind the downfall of Jeremy Corbyn. All the sabotage and the accusations of racism that were involved in that and how that was engineered. It's all anti-Semitic, this film, is what they said to us until Glastonbury's lawyer declared it to be nothing of the sort and the truth behind its cancellation having more to do with Vested interest not wanting it to be seen, exposing the lies they've been spreading, as it does. So they instead lent on the sponsors. The threat of being called a racist, despite not being one, is something people greatly fear. But shouldn't. If you're not a racist, you know you're not a racist. You shouldn't take any notice of people calling you a racist. Because they're talking rubbish. The people making the accusations, weaponising racism for their own ends, are the same people doing that. And they're lowlifes, one and all. It didn't, of course, stop there either, as the same thing is now going to happen, or has happened, reportedly, at Toll Puddle 2, the Toll Puddle Festival, which is taking place next month, where the film has again been cancelled. Yet it will be shown outside of the main enclosure, because where there is a will, there is a way. Now, that hasn't stopped others from trying to stop it elsewhere, aside from all of that, as it would seem... My union, Unite has. I'm becoming more ashamed of saying that, frankly, my union, because they've also stood against the film and in a much bigger, more nationwide fashion. Following an extremely successful showing in Bristol at Unite's Tony Ben House, another showing was attempted. Two showings, in fact, but this time in Portsmouth, being organised by the community branch there. Community branches consist of Unite members who are out of work or disabled, come from any manner of works, walks of life, because Unite is an all-encompassing general union that anyone from any walk of life can join. They wanted to hold the showing at Unite's regional HQ there, but they've been blocked from doing so by the regional secretary, on the basis that the issues covered in the film are permanent to the internal Labour Party only, and therefore not relevant to Unite members. Well, hold the bus here a minute. Unite is an affiliated trade union to the Labour Party, is it not? So try again when members' dues line Labour Party coffers. Of course it is relevant to Unite members. If we're funding a party that is sabotaging itself, as this film exposes, working against its interests, though, of course, not the interests of the Labour right, working against Unite members' interests, and particularly the interests of community members who have been disproportionately targeted by the Tories over the last 13 years, we desperately need a change in government. But we need a change in government that emphasis is on the word change. Now, Unite gives a million pounds a year to Starmer's Labour. And once upon a time, that was a sum of money to be kept under review, so said the General Secretary, Sharon Graham. Yet since she said that, she's become more of a believer in Team Keith, reckoning Starmer as workers' interests at heart, becoming more accommodating to his ways, and even being quite overtly supportive of him in her social media, much to the disgust of many. If he did have ordinary working class people's interests at heart, he'd show up on a picket line, surely, wouldn't he? Instead of sacking shadow ministers who actually do and seeing former trade unionists in his party and picket line attendees on his back benches deselected. Now, Unite has taken the Labour right position regarding this Corbyn film. Well, the official excuse doesn't wash. What seems far more likely is, as one Unite figure has reportedly said, Starmer's thought police are now running the union. To not show it on the basis it isn't relevant to the union is just as maddeningly insulting and wrong as Labour General Secretary and Starmer psychic David Evans saying discussing Corbyn's suspension at constituency Labour Party meetings not all that long ago wasn't competent business when it's literally wanting to discuss the suspension of a party member. Well, the Portsmouth community branch haven't taken it on the chin. They passed a motion about it saying... This branch resolves that it is not the purpose of union officials to try and control what members are allowed to see, nor is it in their remit to try to cancel basic rights of free speech by branches and members. To reject the idea that the issues in the film are internal to the Labour Party and not relevant to Unite members, the film is about the orchestrated attack on Jeremy Corbyn and the socialist leadership of the party 2015 to 2019. To recognise that since Keir Starmer has taken over the leadership, the Labour Party has become a neoliberal party whose policies are indistinct distinguishable from that of the Tory party. We do not believe that increased privatisation of the NHS, which Starmer supports, public ownership of water, rail and the utilities, which Starmer opposes, Zionism and apartheid Israel, which Starmer supports, the racism treatment, the racist treatment of refugees, which Starmer supports, workers' struggles, which Starmer opposes, Tory legislation restricting the rights of protest and our civil liberties, which Starmer supports, are all irrelevant to Unite members. 
There is a determined ap attempt to erase the memory of the Corbyn era and how the Labour right, in conjunction with the Tory press, deliberately destabilised the elected leader of the Labour Party through false accusations of anti-Semitism. It is extremely disappointing that the leadership of Unite, in attempting to appease Keir Starmer, is now a party to this erasure of history. Far from appeasing Starmer, Unite's leadership should be vigorously challenging the neoliberal government that he has promised. We demand that the showing of a big lie should be reinstated immediately, and we urge other Unite branches to ensure that it is shown as widely as possible. This branch wishes to donate £250 to platform films in order to enable them to facilitate distribution and make more socialist films. It's a strong-worded, damning assessment of both the Unite leadership's spinelessness in the face of Keir Starmer's demands and an equally damning assessment of Starmer himself, which I can't fault one iota. They've nailed him, and they've hammered Sharon Graham here as well. She is presiding over this, after all. And when I say all, I mean not just Portsmouth but across the country. Emails have been sent out to community branches nationwide, a copy of which has been re reproduced by Squawkbox, instructing them to basically not to try and put on a showing in any Unite building, expressing the union's official position. So this has come from on high, possibly Sharon Graham herself. And it reads, a number of coordinators have been asked to facilitate the screening of The Big Lie, film from Unite offices. Some community members have expressed interest in seeing this, the issues covered in the film are pertinent to internal Labour Party members and matters, and that is not the focus of our union. Unite's community members are working on issues linked to our local communities and to industrial issues, and union resources are prioritised in these areas. Resources include use, maintenance and security of Unite buildings. There are a number of screenings in local independent venues which are open to interested members. I have no doubt that there will be some questions from community members regarding this. I trust that the above is clear enough to explain the rationale for the position. It's yet another letdown to Unite members by Sharon Graham. More and more, it seems, working with Starmer's regime and less about challenging it in the interests of its members, particularly its community members. The two council showings planned in Portsmouth are still going ahead, incidentally, now being shown in Haven and Emsworth United Reformed Church on the 11th and 12th of July. Again, keep an eye on the Platform Films website for showings near you. More and more, the criminal internal acts of the Labour right, of the Starmer rights are being exposed. And the more people who can see this film, the more aware of that, more people will become. Little wonder Starmer rights are desperate to censor it. Those with Zionist sympathies too. And with Unite acting in the same manner, they can only be assumed to be part of the same problematic political clique. New leadership required across the board, because this should be about an expression of free speech and free will. And it's getting clamped down on for no good reason. It's also another slap in the face for community members particularly because Graham has never been especially supportive of these branches, despite often being the most active campaigners of union interests. So many union members have been thrown out of Labour by Starmer and his purging, now feeling totally let down by a general secretary they may have voted for who seems to be walking in lockstep with him more each day. It's depressing, but also heartening that the determination that this film gets shown redoubles members' efforts to find a way. Corbyn still having more influence and more appeal than either Starmer or Graham could ever dream of. You can't censor that. Trying has only proven to strengthen it, proven to harden resolve, proven by the demand for more viewings growing. Get and see it if you can, and after you've liked, shared, and subscribed to the channel, keen as mustard for more content, giving the self-serving people in power a verbal boot up the arse, you can check out this video here, my recommendation next watch for you, where Sharon Graham's internal politics, which she says she doesn't do, of course, came undone when she tried to seize control of the union's executive committee and failed miserably, despite claiming otherwise. Plenty more content to see, fill your boots, and I'll see you on the next vid. Cheers, folks.